everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas and welcome to a fun kind of little behind the scenes video. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to be moving on from the current color scheme. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you the time lapse of all the art pieces that I did for this color scheme that I've been sharing on Instagram. So that is what today's video is. It's a compilation. It's not a tutorial. It's just a whole bunch of time lapses. So basically when I came up with the whole idea for the Happy Nail Art series. It did start with a base kind of color scheme and overall kind of aesthetic and vibe. So I started that out by creating nine different squares on Procreate and then kind of filling them in with sketch ideas. I wasn't really sure where I was going with this. I knew I wanted to play around with a limited color palette which ended up being about five or six colors and that's when it kind of just started. I did some quick sketches definitely not perfect by any means, kind of color coded them as to what colors I would use. Nothing was set in stone at this point. It was just all kind of theoretical, just to kind of get the ideas rolling. And it was super fun. The bottom color swatches were kind of what I went with. So that is what you're seeing here. I took each of those individual sketches, copied them over to a bigger canvas, blew them up, and then created more kind of fine lined easier to work on sketches and of course changed things as needed. I used perspective tools and different things to hopefully get walls correct and things level and then I sketched it all out with a pencil. I think I used about probably like the 6B pencil in Procreate I think or another one that I frequent. I just don't know what it's called and such as the D. And I sketched everything out. I was not going to use these lines, so I kind of like tr made them a little bit transparent, erased things here and there. And then I started coloring with a various amount of pencils and kind of paint brushes. And as you can see, I didn't use those lines. Those were only guidelines. And I kind of filled it in. I worked on it, some shading here and there. Shading is not something I've ever been super confident with or comfortable with so it's kind of been something new definitely when doing these setups and also another thing that is very new to me is not having like bold dark lines as outlines that has just always kind of been like a fall back on comfortable thing like oh it'll look better when I add in the dark lines but I really want to focus on getting away from that and I feel like doing this whole series in all these different types of sketches has really helped and I'm really excited. However, I did learn from this whole color scheme and everything and it was that I was using really light colors and sometimes it made the different pieces kind of hard to look at. Not necessarily hard to look at but like hard to see. Like you actually had to like super pay attention to the different details because they were so light. So that is something I'm going to take from this whole series and I'm going to work on creating more bold series, bold artwork and using more vibrant colors, I guess you could say. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if that'll actually work, but that is something that I have kind of learned and want to kind of work on. So the next sketch was kind of a desk scene. It was kind of like a different point of view of the last room that we worked on, but then I got into this process and as I went on I was like you know this needs to be a little bit different. I want some you know a cute little cozy corner or something that you would curl up and read in or sit in your chair and do some iPad sketching in and I ended up creating this really kind of cute room. Well this little section of a room with a comfy chair, pillows and I kept the same color scheme of course, same aesthetics, very kind of bright, happy, fun, tropical, and of course, you know, sometimes some hidden influences, be it music. I actually love this piece. This has become one of my favorite pieces because of the chair, the pineapple, and the pillow, the little coffee cup that you will see on the table eventually, the dog bed, and above the dog bed, I don't know if many people will notice it or realize what it is, but it's like a little rack for doggy scarves because I actually have one in my room for our dog and I always hang up her scarves there and sometimes she'll go pick one out and like nudge it off and I'll put it on and it's just the cutest thing so I thought adding that little element in here was so much fun. I also absolutely love 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 decorating little spaces like this. So after I get the main pieces down I have so much fun with like the wall art and the hidden details like the coffee cup on the table or the book on the table. I forget what the book on the table actually says, but I'm sure it says something because I always hide little things in here. 
and it's just so much fun. Now the plant here I was having like major trouble with for whatever reason. As you guys can see, I'm going to do it. It looks kind of really weird and wonky, so I get rid of it and start over and go back to like a default kind of scribbly looking plant that I actually really like and kind of did like a macrame hanger and it was just so much fun. So when you see it go black, it's because I turned off the background so I could make sure that I wasn't overlapping colors. That's just something I do on Procreate every now and then that helps and it's kind of like an advantage of using Procreate and not working on paper because you can kind of have that little freedom to go outside of the lines and clean it up, which I absolutely love and have become really used to, which is probably not good in the long run, but you know, it's utilizing the tool that I have, so that works. And I had so much fun with this little art piece here. I was using a new brush that I'd recently got as a demo brush for a set that I might go ahead and buy because I really like the demos. And then I kind of created this watercolory, like ocean, like looking down at the ocean and it meeting the shoreline, and it was so much fun. And then creating the sunset piece, which was inspired by one of the nail art designs that I did, which you guys might remember. It was just so much fun. Then the next piece, I was definitely influenced by music here. I personally don't have a record player, but I love like the sound that people have been putting into music recently to kind of make it sound like it's on a record player. Plus, in general, a lot of people are using them. I know my brother has one and he's been playing it and it's just like a thing right now. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of put that into one of the drawings. Plus, it was an easy way to kind of make it very evident that there was a music influence in this piece because anymore, I feel like we don't use CD players or things like that. So I felt like showing a record player was actually pretty evident and drawing a CD player is not as cool looking as a record player. So that's what I went with, even though in reality I use a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> but it was fun. And then I wanted to try to figure out how to make the records like laying on the table next to it. And I still don't necessarily love how the records look because they look too, I don't know, they just don't look like they're sitting on the table quite right yet. I don't know. But I had fun with it because I made one inspired by Wake Up Sunshine by Old Time Low, which is one of my newest favorite CDs, came out in April. And then the other one I made slightly inspired by Calm by Five Seconds of Summer, which came out in March. And those are like the top two CDs in my personal opinion that I've released in 2020 and been my favorite thing that I've been, you know, gaining life from, I don't know, keeping me inspired and giving me something to look forward to is always new music. So having those two CDs has been super fun and I wanted to sneak them into my artwork. And then of course you all know I love pineapples, I love Florida and just anything tropical. So of course I added that in there as well and kind of kept with the color scheme. And this one I turned up the saturation for the art and I do really like it. It was a bit bold but fun. Then I thought it'd be fun to make a cute little graphic of like now playing because I love figuring out how to put music into anything. So I put the Calm CD cover and just had fun. Then I decided to make a little color palette because I like keeping track of my colors and I really like naming them. So here is the color palette that I use for the majority of this nail art series. And then I named the colors different song titles or things related to the song titles that I've been listening to, which was a lot of fun. I actually want to create more color palettes with like specific names like you would at nail polishes. I think that would be super fun to share later. But moving on to the next print, I thought I was like, okay, I'm going to make a cute little like graphic that features different things that I've been doing while we're all in quarantine or just things that I like to do in my spare time, which really it hasn't changed. And when I do have spare time, no matter what type of condition the world is in, these are the things that I go back to. One of those being procreate art, working on my iPad, hanging out with my puppy, which of course we're getting to do a lot more of now because we're all home. And something that I don't get to do often, but I have been making a little bit more time for is working on a book. Then, of course, painting my nails, being a bit more creative on paper, doing a little bit more kind of skincare and face masks and such. Of course, listening to music, which I kind of had little AirPods in there, which you can't see super well. And then, of course, you know, a lot of watching YouTube. I always watch YouTube while I paint. So, you know, had to feature that. Then this next piece, I knew I wanted to make a cute little graphic of like a laptop, you know, watching YouTube or something just because I feel like that's something we are all doing 
or watching Netflix on your computers or something on our computers. We're all behind them basically a lot. But I ended up creating that video that you guys saw a few weeks ago where I showed you guys how to create a marble in Procreate. And I was like, okay, I will use this cute little graphic to kind of promote that. So that is what I did. I created a kind of cute rose gold laptop and then I put the wallpaper in it to kind of showcase the wallpaper that I showed y'all in the tutorial. And then I had fun of decorating the desk because like this pineapple cup that I have on the side, like that's uh, real. <laughs> Like, it's based off a real cup that I have that I bought at Starbucks a few years ago that I absolutely love. And it is always being snuck into different drawings, which I think is kind of hilarious. And it's super fun. And it's just very realistic because oftentimes I'm looking at my computer, I've got my pineapple cup, and I probably have a flake plant nearby. And I always try to have, like, inspiring things around me. And while I don't actually have, like, a wall right in front of my computer, which I'm very happy about, I have another desk. Um... I would have cute little art up there because it is inspiring and it's kind of fun and of course you can kind of tell that one of them would be a pineapple, the other is a rainbow, and then the other is just, you know, like a little bird and it'd be really fun. And I do have a lot of collage walls because collage walls are super fun. The little white thing off to the side, which I guess some might not be able to tell, is actually like a mouse on a computer. A mouse for a computer and I feel like I always have one next to my computer but I don't often use it which is weird I'm just so used to using a trackpad I guess so there was that then I was like you know what one of my goals in all this illustrating is to someday maybe design for Starbucks I would absolutely love 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 that and I think that would be such a fun thing to do so I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and design a cute little Starbucks cup. So I kind of went off something that they've done in the past where they've had kind of customizable cups where you can kind of put in patches or stickers. So that is what I did here. I created my own little kind of sticker pack and made it very kind of particular to the overall theme we've been using and then on the side I kind of put a list of like my favorite summertime drinks and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make that fake sticker sheet too so I took over the little noodles I did in the last one so the palm leaves the rainbow the coffee lover sticker sunglasses the color palette the strawberry like all of that turned it into a fake sticker sheet and in all honesty now I really wish this sticker sheet existed so there is an overall look at all the different pieces that I did with this collection. I had so much fun and I really was kind of like having this video to capture it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all back here soon for a new video very, very soon, like tomorrow. So bye!